blank from a blank motion project here. Just a very basic call out title and a transition that we can then use in Final Cut. So I'm just gonna start here with my motion project. On the right side, I can choose a preset uh, for, for various things here, but then I'm gonna click on open in the lower right corner. So um, the preset, you should select what your projects are, try to match this up with what your things are. So if you're doing a bunch of 4K stuff, choose 4K. If most of the things you do are 1080, you can select 1080 here. And you can also set a duration here. We can change this later on if needed in motion. Then I'll click on open. And here we are in motion. Very different interface from Final Cut as far as the windows and the, the layout that's here, but you do have a toolbar at the top that allows you to show or hide various areas of the interface. So if you don't see this, if you open it up and something's not uh, visible to you here, most likely you can click on these buttons at the top to show them. So as an example, the project pane hides this area on the left side. Uh, I could go to the inspector here and see all the various inspector spots uh, on here. You can go up to the window menu and go down to window layout to get our classic layout, uh, or you can show or hide other various areas of the interface. So um, that's what you have there if you need any of that. I'm not gonna go too much further into motion specific uh, tips and tricks. That's something uh, we have other videos on this channel. Uh, you can also get an awesome guide to motion. Uh, that book is available on Amazon, Apple Books, all the various bookstores and goes into a lot more detail of the basics of motion. So I'm just gonna create a, a simple call out title. And a call out title is trying to bring attention to something. So to do that, I'm gonna go down here and get my align. I'm gonna click and drag the line. I can hold shift here to have the line be on the 45 degree axis there. I'm gonna go into my inspector under the shape inspector here. I'm gonna put an uh, end cap here with an arrow. So that we get a little arrow pointing. Uh, I'm actually gonna put it on the beginning because uh, so round end caps so on the start here. I'm gonna have the arrow, that way it's pointing at whatever's in the middle of the screen. I can increase the width to make the arrow a little bit bigger and then make the arrow length and width a little bit bigger there. So we have a bigger arrow. You can see it very clearly, it's pointing to something. And we'll also get a, uh, a text track here because this will be our call out title. And if you're creating a title in motion, most likely you're creating this to be used for something specific. So you can put in uh, what you want here for, for that text and, and what it's gonna look like. Um, you can customize all kinds of things. Motion is, is a very, um, uh, it's a very complex app, but it has many, many, many ways for you to customize this stuff as far as you wanna go here. So let's say I've done that similar to GarageBand. Uh, you do want to do the command S to save your project as you're working on it. Um, unlike uh, Final Cut, it does not have the same auto save feature, at least as of right now, um, to be able to save it as you're going. And motion, because of how complex it is, can quit on you unexpectedly. And you, you don't want to lose stuff uh, that you've been working on. So make sure to use command S to save that. Now, if that's all we do, this is not available inside of Final Cut yet. We have to send it over and get it into Final Cut. So you can go up to the file menu, go down to share, and there's options to export this out. Similar to Final Cut, you can export this and create a movie. However, if you're trying to create a call out title and you want it to be able to be available inside of Final Cut, what I recommend doing is converting this project. So under the file menu, you have an option to convert the project to and you have the options of how you wanna convert it. So in this case, it is a call out title. So I'm gonna convert this to a title. And what that does, it's gonna bring up an option for you to say a title source. So this would be a layer or placeholder that's gonna be used in Final Cut. So I'm gonna create a new placeholder and hit convert. And that placeholder is this title background that's showing up here. Basically that's the clip that's gonna appear inside of Final Cut. All right, so that should be good. Now I can hit Command S again. Because it is the first time I'm saving it as a title, I do have to select some options. And this is the template name that's gonna show up inside of Final Cut. So I'm just gonna call it my uh, call out title. Uh, I can make sure you name these things so that you can keep things organized. If you have 
more than one, uh, you'll want to get those named correctly there. We can then add it to a category. I don't have any right now, so I'm going to create a new category. I'm just going to call it my Final Cut Pro Help category and hit Create. And then if you want, you can create a theme and save preview and, and all that. I'm not going to do that here, but you can do that. The theme helps organize when you have many, many custom titles that you created. Okay, so now we've essentially created a callout title using Motion. We went up to File and converted that project from a composition to a title and basically set everything up. So we're good. I'm going to do command uh, Q here to quit out of motion. And I'm going to go back into Final Cut Pro. And let's see how we do that. So um, what you should take away from this so far is that this is a, a fairly easy process. There's not a lot of steps that you have to do to get those motion projects into uh, Final Cut. Notice now in my titles and generator sidebar, I have this new category called at Final Cut Pro Help, and there's my callout title. If I want to use it, I can click and drag the callout title down into my project, drop it, and it puts it there. All right, so fairly straightforward. Let me go get a um, clip here, and we'll just actually call something out. Let's use is this image here, I'll drag my title over. Extend that picture and I'll do command plus a couple times to zoom in on the timeline here. So now there's my call out title. If I select the title track, I can see it up here. Um, not much that I can do with it. The, the, notice the arrow, I can't move the arrow around. I can move the text. Uh, that's something that, that's nice with titles. But the arrow itself, I don't get much, many options with that. I could go and use the transform tool to move the arrow. Um, but you can see that's kind of moving everything that's there. So one other tip I wanted to point out, I'm going to switch back to motion, is that you can publish parameters from motion to make them available inside of Final Cut uh, Pro 10 here. So as an example, my callout title had that text that just says callout title, and it had the arrow that's pointing down. So back here in motion, I'm going to go to my Final Cut Pro help titles. Notice that new category we created is there. There's my call out title. I can double click on it to open it. And if I click on the line, I want to be able to change where this arrow is pointing. And to do that, I'm going to go into the inspector. And here's my uh, geometry tab here. This has uh, the, the various points that are on here. And if I click on this little drop down menu next to control points, Get them under shape, geometry. Here's control points. On the right side, I can click on this and then say publish. When you publish a parameter, what you're saying is make this parameter available inside of Final Cut Pro 10. So now I'll do Command S to save it. I'm going to quit motion again, Command Q. And now we're back here in uh, Final Cut. I'm going to go back up to my uh, titles and generator sidebar, get my call out title, and bring it down here. Can delete the original one from before. And now notice here in Final Cut with that title selected up here under Publish Parameters in the inspector on Final Cut, we now have the uh, animation here for that point. So we have the ability now to change where that arrow is pointing. So that's the other big part of sharing stuff from motion is once you've put it as a title, publish the parameters that you want available inside of Final Cut, and then you don't have to keep going back to Motion to update those various titles. Uh, these ones too, any of the ones that have a little keyframe uh, diamond on the right side, you can animate that. So in this case, if you were trying to call out maybe a football that someone's throwing, you could actually animate it so that arrow follows the football along as you're, you're going throughout the project. Okay, so that's how you create a very simple callout title in Motion and how you publish it to make it available inside of Final Cut Pro 10. I want to show the same thing, but with transitions. Now, if I'm uh, doing this, I'm going to quit out of Final Cut, and I'm just going to go back into Motion, Command Space Motion, and we saw how to.